Revelation 884. From the 25th of April 1939. Father Words. Lightning Ray. Guide. I want to teach everywhere and awaken people's spirit, because the misery is unspeakably great. There are constantly countless souls in danger who disregard the word of God and do not give an account to themselves where their faithlessness should lead. They remain in the darkness of the spirit and pay no attention to the bright ray that could bring them light. And so it is time to send a lightning ray, so that they will be frightened in the deep night and desire light. A new time shall dawn and my word shall be made accessible to man in all purity and understandable to everyone who desires truth. The Son of the Spirit shall rise and spread brightest light, and whoever wants to escape from darkness, shall be allowed to walk in the light. Hear therefore my voice, pay attention to the signs which announce the approach of the new time and remember my words that all your striving is in vain if you do not see in me your Saviour from all trouble. Whoever chooses me as his guide, will truly go through the earth life properly guided, but whoever wants to reject me, will soon lack the knowledge of where to turn. He will get into great trouble, and earthly goods will offer him no substitute for what he gives up, for only I can give him the strength to live and the soul's misery will be indescribable if I do not give it. And in this trouble I will remember those who are willing and give them a visible sign of my love. The whole of mankind will pay attention and see this sign, and it will be left to everyone to interpret it according to his will. Whoever will recognize me in it, his soul will be saved, but whoever also rejects this sign or pays little attention to it, his spirit will only remain more densely enveloped and no ray of light will shine for him. He remains in the night, and his soul will perish. But I want to give great strength to my own, they are to become strong in spirit and never deny me. The visible sign is to be a confirmation of my care for them, they are to recognize my over great love by it and build themselves up by it in the tribulations which will approach them from outside. They are not to fear anything that the world could prepare for them, but in fullest trust devote themselves to their divine Saviour and Redeemer, who holds their fate in his hands and does not allow them to suffer damage to their soul. Whoever carries me in his heart, will pass all tests and grow stronger in the face of temptations and emerge victorious from all battles that apply to his soul, because he has chosen me as his leader. Amen.